Ladies and gentlemen, it's that time, that time you've been waiting for. Time for Shirley Hooser, the Hip Hop Republican. <laughs> Woo! To the hip, to the hop, to the hip. Good morning, family. For today, we have a very, very, very special guest. We have one of the founding fathers of Hip Hop Republican dot TV and dot com. That's right, Lenny McAllister, ladies yes. and gentlemen, is on our show today. Woo! Do we bow down? Do we worship? <laughs> hardly, hardly. But before I go into speaking to the God Father of our foundation, I want to tell you a little history of Hip Hop Republican dot TV. Hip Republican, Hip Republican, Hip Hop Republican dot TV was created in 2004. As many of you have been watching my show, thank you so for Facebook emailing, twittering, following us, blogging us, giving us your viewpoints, your ideas, your input of where we should be in America. And that's because of hiphoprepublican.com. Fast forward 2009, we have now hiphoprepublican.tv. We're also a group of bloggers, but we come on the, on the materialistic side of video and visual. That's right. We also want you to go and join our site and become part of our reporting family. We don't have enough reporters out there. If you have a viewpoint, like my friend Matt, make sure you check out his video. He's out there and he's blogging about what's going on in his community. We want the same out of you, and we want to focus on your opinion and your ideas to make you part of our family. Hiphoprepublican.tv. TV. It's a site to watch to see grow in the future and the present time. Okay, let's get started. We're getting ready to have an incredible person. Let me tell you a little bit about Lenny McAllister. Lenny is from North Carolina, and he is a political commentator. He has been all over the country, United States, and I can see him going international. That's where I can see him in Rome and France and Italy, speaking on the behalf of the conservatives, those proud young conservatives. Mentioning proud young conservatives, did you know that Lenny has a book? That's right. Not only is he a blogger and incredible writer, he also is a writer that creates his own book. And here it is. Proud young conservative black Republican. A diary of a mad Negro. And before we get too far <laughs> into him, there he is. He's <laughs> mad at the establishment like I told you about. HipHopRepublican.com and .tv. We're not someone to joke around with. We're not currently happy with this administration. Our administration that does not give energy to the urban community. Urban people do not have the same viewpoints as what is told by media or what is portrayed. We are people of different ideas, viewpoints, uh, uh, the way that life is seen and our lifestyles are different. On on this show you're going to see that and today we're going to talk about Lenny McAllister and his book The Diary of a Mad Black PYC Pretty Young Negro well we have his video <laughs> ready too Shirley okay we're going to go ahead to Mario's going to give you a little history of it and let's check the video out video video after a brief technical interlude This is the fun part of technology. That's right. Now, was this taken in 1773? No. <laughs> it's a current video, but he's talking about issues regarding that. You know, one thing about Lenny, he travels all over. Even though he's in North Carolina, this particular video was filmed in Atlanta, Georgia. Atlanta, Georgia, as you know, have a lot of African Americans living in the urban community making change for that state. Unfortunately, they also have a lot of areas that are very uh, poverty-stricken, some would call ghetto, um, and, and also under black leadership that are Democrats. So a lot of them were promised this hopey changey stuff through this new administration that's not providing hopey changey. It's providing uh, confusion because what was promised on the platform is not there. It's not a change we can believe in, Shirley. Mm. <laughs> a change that you hope to believe in that's not real. That's why the conservative young proud young man you're going to hear today is going to talk about that. He's that diary, that mad diary we want you to open up, unleash into your life. And when you see this video, how he stands before the crowd, he is that fresh new viewpoint that we're going to see. Yeah, well, yeah. we'll see it one of these days. One of these days. Do you think that video will come up today or next week, Negro? That's all I want to know. Because <laughs> I need to see a video on my brother. She's talking about you, I'm man. talking about you, Mario. Yeah, she's got you, man. You know, and in the meantime, man, it's an honor to be in the room with you, my brother. Hey, I appreciate being here. Yeah. It's nothing like being in the fact studio, <laughs> studio studios and seeing an opportunity to see people face to face. I'm enjoying it. It's good. Well, we have to have them here. I fixed it. I'm sorry. You fixed it. You got you the rubber it. on right. Go on, lady. Tell us. We will enjoy it. Did you put the, put the rubber on right? Is, is the rubber on right, Mario? 
<laughs> there you slip. We don't want any it accidents. And we don't oh. want any accidents. First of all, everybody, as as you know, everybody recognizes here on these shows, we have to wear all these hats. So that was I mean, we've had some technical things, but I wanted to extend my own welcome to Lenny too, who was born in Pittsburgh in 1973. Who has a who started even as an early age weekly readings in African American studies, uh, and he did before he embarked upon his thirteen year path to his four year degree. This young man, you know, as a now remember, I'm the leftist radical, okay, and I'm neither hip hop nor <laughs> Republican. <laughs> <laughs> but there's things about this brother that no matter what persuasion you are, you can see that he's a mobilizer and organizer, and he's bringing forth ideas and attempting to change from within so we have to applaud that i do think that i have the video working now okay and so because i think i do without further ado i'd like to let him explain himself in this piece and mario hits plan b well the times call for them to take a stand just as the time beckons us right now to take a stand with love for our country with respect for our countrymen and with honor to our proud tradition all with American history on our side. That's right. Yeah. We have to come together and ask the president and his colleagues this question. If we were unwilling to accept tyranny, unwilling to overlook wickedness from the Third Reich, unwilling to be hypocritical with civil rights in the 20th century, and unwilling to compromise freedom with communism, what makes you think that we will merely accept the tyrannical mandates coming out of Washington today? What makes you think we're going to accept the tyrannical mandates coming out of Washington today complete with economic wickedness that is hell-bent on destroying dreams with job-killing legislation and promoting socialistic endeavors and trying to call it social equality? <laughs> I say to you today, fellow patriots, we will not accept that. President Lyndon Johnson's great society has not been a great positive change here in America. We're here. Welfare does not lead to accumulating wealth. Jobs do. That's right. Woo. We gather together as children born from impossible paths to fight the possibility of a better American journey. We voice our concerns as a community of believers that reject what is popular to do what is right and we reject what some call impossible because we know that in America anything for the ultimate good by way of a loving God is truly indeed possible. We live as witnesses of perpetual constitutional victory where a descendant of slaves such as me can stand here and tell you that we must know our facts as fellow Americans in the face of opposition, respect our ideological enemies in the midst of debate, and love our nation through the midst of internal tension more than we fear being labeled as a group of the uninformed, a movement of hatred, and believers in the impossible dream. And why is that? because we know that those three things are three lies that we refuse to allow to hold back America any longer. Amen. Many will say to you that we don't have the numbers or the willpower to change the current direction of big government despite our best efforts, regardless of what you've seen in Virginia, oh. or New Jersey, or New Jersey, or Massachusetts. Or even California. That's right. reject big government as the best solution. If we took the big government perspective in colonial America, the enormity of the British Empire, an empire that never had the sun set on it anywhere throughout the world, would have never lost to a small group of upstart patriots, well, much like yourselves, okay. in the first American Revolutionary War. <laughs> Check the status quo. If we decided to follow the status quo voiced in America in the 1930s,